not in your college to use this Nuri's nautical table and calculate compass error manually but practically on board manual calculation is not preferred because when you do manual calculation it takes long time and it that much time you are away from keeping a lookout or keeping your navigation doing your navigation duties so on board we you prefer to use a software that is what we are going to see in this video It's important to understand here what is variation, deviation and compass error. If we keep magnetic needle where there is no earth's magnetism, it will point towards true north. But practically that's not possible. If we keep the needle out at sea where there is no ship, it's just the earth magnetism, it will start pointing towards magnetic north. So this deflection from true north to magnetic north is variation. Now imagine keeping this same magnetic needle on a ship which is having ship's magnetism as well. This needle will start deflecting in some other direction. Deflection between magnetic north and compass north is deviation. And the entire error from to true north to compass north is compass error. Compass error is equal to variation plus deviation. Right here with me is third officer. He's gonna help me taking compass error. And this is not the first time we are sailing together. This is our second ship. This is our Kita. So we'll take this one out. Yeah. And we have to go to the starboard side because we can see some from there. If the sun is here and you want to take bearing directly by looking at it, you need to see right here between from this hole and align the sun on this wire and read the reading on the gyro repeater. In case you want to use the sun's reflection, then you have to point it like this. Sun will reflect onto this mirror and you will see the reflection reading in this plate. You have to align sun on this azimuth circle and read the bearing onto the repeater right in front. At this point we have got the gyro bearing as 1, 2, 0 for the sun. Now we will go inside to note down other readings and do the calculation. After bearing you are going to need date, UTC time, vessel's position gyro heading magnetic heading and obviously the bearing which you have checked just now on the azimuth circle to get the true bearing we are going to use the software this is the data we have noted down we have transferred the same information onto this software nautical almanac line of position so once you feed in your position you update your utc date time you automatically get the azimuth our bearing was one two zero on the gyro for the sun and the true we have calculated is one one nine three zero point eight so now we will compare this reading and these readings to get the error we have to find gyro error and magnetic error for that we need bearing already we have taken from the gyro because it was a gyro repeater where we took the bearing it gave us gyro bearing true bearing we have calculated from the software and magnetic bearing will be 118 how we have come to 118 as you can see here heading difference between gyro and magnetic magnetic heading is two degrees lower than gyro magnetic bearing will also be two degrees less than gyro bearing. so we get magnetic bearing 118 degrees gyro error will be difference between gyro bearing and true bearing as we can see the true bearing is 0.5 degree lower that means gyro bearing is 0.5 degree higher than the true bearing so error will gyro error will be 0.5 degrees high similarly we have to calculate magnetic error or compass error is difference between magnetic bearing and true bearing the magnetic bearing is 1.5 degree low lower than true bearing that means it is least magnetic compass is least error is east and when it is best error is west 
that is something to remember it easily 1.5 degree east is the magnetic compass error why we are doing all this we are doing all this to find out deviation at present heading and magnetic compass error is also deviation plus variation variation we'll have to note down from the chart and once we know magnetic compass error and variation we can easily get deviation this is like this this is a symbol for to check the variation don't take report Then select the whole area where this magnetic variation applies. Value of magnetic variation. Magnetic variation at this point is minus 2 degrees that is minus 2 degrees west. Reference year is 2015 and value of annual change is minus 5 minutes. So every year it is reducing by minus 5 minutes. For 3 years it will be minus 15 minutes. Variation for 2015 was minus 2 degrees that is minus 2 degree west and yearly change was minus 5 minutes. Variation for 2018 will be minus 2 degrees and 15 minutes west. 15 minutes is equal to 0.25 degrees because each degree has 60 minutes. Final variation at present point would be 2.25 degrees west. Magnetic compass error we have already found out 1.5 degrees east. Magnetic compass error is also deviation plus variation. To find out deviation we have to subtract magnetic compass error and variation. So we will subtract deviation 3.75 east. You will have a compass error book on board which looks something like this. When they are not able to take error due to overcast skies or heavy traffic they can they have to log it in the deck log book as error unobtainable. This logbook doesn't have any special information. It has all the information which we have already explained to you, but we are just showing it for your reference. First section is date, GMT time, latitude, longitude, ship's heading, gyro, standard, bearing, true, gyro, standard. And when you get difference between true and gyro, you get gyro error. When you get difference between true and standard, you get magnetic error. And you have to write here if it was the bearing was taken from sun or moon or stars. And you will write your variation and deviation here if the vessel has any list or heel you can mention that you can write remarks and sign it friends remember that this compass error is required to be taken at least once every watch and it is also required to be taken whenever you have a large alteration of course this is done in order for you to know your deviation at any heading and in case your gyro fails you can apply that deviation and steer the ship in correct direction using magnetic compass.